Wow, wow, that is that is Sid Madarasa, ladies and gentlemen, and that is just a snippet of his body of work. Welcome to the show, my friend. You know what? I've been looking at your pictures, seeing that workstation of yours with there by the coconut tree and the beach in the background. I officially hate you. You've been doing productive work from under that coconut tree, haven't you? You haven't just been there on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what have you been doing in this work from home program? Because that's that's the part I wanted to share with everybody. This really exciting stuff how you've managed to direct international commercials or commercials in other countries from your coconut tree somewhere near Balear. Just a brief background on how this started. Um, Psychic was born out of that need where we need to be more mobile. You know, for me, I operate, I don't have an office. You know, my office is just everywhere. I just go to a cafe. You know, from there on, I was trying to build that, that whole ethos of, you know what, we can work from anywhere. You know, I, I mean, even before this whole ECQ happened, I've been editing remotely, James. Um, I don't really, I don't really sit down in, in an editing room. If I, if the editor makes me stay there for more than an hour, then something's wrong with the edit. I mean, that's something that I should be worried about. But, you know, just send it to me. Just send it via WhatsApp. Just send it via email. We don't need to be there face to face. For years, I've been storyboarding with my storyboard artist in Bulacan, and we don't see face to face. You know, we just I just draw something on my tablet, send my thumbs to him, call him, or record my voice and send it to him. And ever since we've been doing that, um, priming ourselves to what would become the the norm. You know, it's such a big surprise for to 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 everyone that is this the new norm? I don't know. How long will it be? We don't know. But I think the, the the biggest you know validation of, of how remote working uh, is really a possibility in this industry. I mean, the advertising industry is such a very structured, rigid um, industry. So the challenge here is that how can we direct from home? Back in 2018, I got into a serious motorcycle accident, James, and I, you know that, of course. And um, I broke seven ribs. I, I broke you know, two clavicles. And um, I was actually on my way to a shoot. And the two celebrities were already there. And, um, you know, the client said, hey, we want to wait for Sid. Let's postpone the shoot. Let's wait until next week. Um, mm -hmm. Hoping that I'd be able to get up on my feet and go to the studio. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. To make a long story short, I had to ask one of my closest friends, Direct Rafi Francisco, to pinch it for me in the studio and take the helm in the studio together with the team but i was directing remotely from my hospital bed a day after the operation so that really solidified the the, the idea of hey you know it, it's possible diba pwede ka mag shoot habang nasa hospital ka diba I mean, I mean how how bad could that be diba so i mean it really opened a lot of possibilities this was the mother's day spot with me directed for vix this was held by um, Riel Manuel, director Riel Manuel, oh, young guy, very talented cinematographer. Nice. Yeah, of course you know Riel. He's the he's the of DOP course. of drive of, of the show. Yeah, See, exactly. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Exactly. That's his Lola and that's his mom. They he shot that in in, in, in their house. So, well, time out, time out, time out. Guys, I hope you're listening because if Peter Clock had a, a theme, this would be it or an ethos. This is it. What we're trying to push and promote is exactly this working with the tools that you have first it started in a hospital bed right and then you realize the value we don't need to there's so much we can cut out here so when COVID 19 came in you were best friends. you still technically ironically have a leg ahead or up, up against competition 
You like that, huh? Yeah. And then from there, it pretty much all snowballed from there, right? Because I remember you were one of the first Tito Clock guests, and it was a phone call. We had no video. This was way before X joined. Yeah. It was all really very kankoy. Yeah. And from yeah. there, you've done how many? Um, to date, I've done six, um, six commercials from, you? From, from the province remotely. Come on. Um, you know, it's funny, James, because when I say that I've done the commercial, I mean, there's always this concept that a director has to be holding the camera and no. shooting it himself. The thing is, I think it takes a different type of personality, a different type of discipline to be able to harness the talents of these kids and these directors and try to direct them, especially like, you know, miles away. I mean, Vix, we even had a director, a good friend of mine, Marlon, who's a Filipino, who's in that, who was in Amsterdam, and he shot his kids in Amsterdam. And basically, I mean, that's that's how directing sh should be. I mean, you don't have to be there physically as long as you can communicate and articulate what you want. And if you and the director can understand each other, and I think that's the, that's the best thing. This is well, um, this is what this is the latest. This is um, the nest day spot that um, I directed together with a uh, few psychic directors um it's pretty special these are their family members um that's from paulo ruiz that's from um the the kids that were shot in new zealand by direct jet morales um this one's from kaloy that's his sister and that's his dad his dad used to be from Macan. um it's just it's just amazing how we work now and that's ian direct ian and that that's his family that's his dad his mom they all live in the same compound. It's amazing how it's inspiring, man. I know it's really exactly. inspiring. This is yeah. quality work right here. Can I just clear something up, Sid? You sure. didn't plan to go to. I mean, th this whole being stranded and trapped in paradise, where you are in your resort in Balear, right? That wasn't planned, right? Okay, so this is, this is a Tito topic, and a lot of Titos will learn from this. The married Titos. Okay. You know when to th when this whole rumor about the lockdown started circulating my wife got just panicked and he said no we're leaving mm -hmm. I said no we're, I have work I need to stay <laughs> and then she said no let's go let's leave with no plans so of course I had to follow my wife's orders but the lesson here is that to all the husbands you listen to your wives you know if you know what's good for you and you know in retrospect in hindsight Pusha, that's this is the that was the best decision of my of, of my wife ever. You are a decision she made, yeah, right? <laughs> I know, but family fa family decisions, bro. A director is really, all a director does is bark out orders, but a good director knows to listen to his wife. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> smart, smart people. This is called working smarter, not yeah. working hard. We should be doing workshops. Yeah, we, we should... Speaking of which, do you have a workshop? I mean, like, it's enough to get us all excited about the work you're doing, but I'm sure there are people out there who are going, Ah oh, man, I got I got some of the skills Tito Sid has, or maybe I could I could be like that one day. Do you offer these workshops to people? Can they learn from you? Uh, to answer your question, yes, I, I I always give talks. It's called the Art of Thirty Seconds, and Thirty Seconds now is just really for me just a sim symbol of a TV commercial because we transcended and we've gone beyond Thirty Seconds. You know, it should be entitled. I sh I should change the title to Beyond Thirty Seconds. You know, the Art of 30 seconds and beyond. Consider this, if you can just try to communicate and create a story and a narrative and sell a product in 30 seconds or maybe 15 seconds, then that is a training that I want these young kids, these directors to work on. Um, how to conserve frames and how to make one frame such a potent form of information that you don't need to show three, four angles of the same scene you just simply, in one frame, you establish who your character is, who the characters are, what are the dynamics between these two, what is their relationship, and what are they doing, what they are feeling. Creativity is art. Everything is art. And telling a story in 30 seconds and selling a product, man, there's an art. I'm a salesman, you know, if you think about it. Um, I'm a visual salesman. And, um, and for me, just mastering this, that art, I think, in storytelling, I think it's very crucial especially for the young ones to to practice you know this is what i tell them you know this is a story create a story and just give it just give me six frames create a 15 second story just in just using six frames 
But it's funny how 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 they come up with with these frames. Finally, these it's impossible to to show a storyboard six frames and tell that kind of story. But yes, it is, and that's the secret, and that's the art that they need to learn. Well, you pretty much got all of that nailed down. And Tito Sid, we can't thank you so much for not just being on the show and explaining all of this, but even opening up your teaching this. How does somebody get a hold of you? If they wanna, if they wanna do your uh, art of thirty seconds. They wanna do your workshops. Um, how do they join your masterclass? Well, normally I just announce it in Instagram or in Facebook. But you know what? We've been talking about this, James. Um, I know you're gonna help me promote this, but I'm gonna. I'm going to create a master class or you know just discuss about you know the whole process behind shooting during ECQ and even beyond that. But this is very important, James, before we leave. I, I think this is um I need to discuss this is that you know during this time, yes, we can I can direct a TV commercial from where I am right now. And yes, I can mobilize the directors, but the directors and these guys are lucky because they can work during this time. I think what bothers me the most is the fact that how about the crew and how about the people we work with normally? How can they, um, th because these guys just depend on work, physical work. They have to be there on the set and unfortunately they can't, right? We have to take on different tasks. Peter James, I'm a director. I'm a, you know, I'm also a caster. I'm a, I'm a production designer, you know, all rolled into one, but we just have to, reinvent and adjust and adapt to the new norm and hopefully this will normalize soon but in the meantime while it's still not happening i think the focus here is how to help the other people who need the jobs the most wow it takes a very sensitive heart to see that problem it's because you know when you're evolving and you have the talents and capacity which you obviously do you're okay i've never worried about you but like you said there are other people out there who cannot you can't work from home when you're doing the light setup, like literally making Cargador the lights. You cannot work from yeah. home when you're, you're literally doing all those physical stuff. So for you to devise, even in your head as early as now, a way to sort of share that income, because yes, it's, it's true, you've replaced jobs in a way. And it's a very mature way of looking at it in the same way that they're having this big argument in the United States where tech companies are not paying the, the taxes or they're not doing things to compensate for the jobs they're taking away from from the world I have to think about how many jobs amazon's removed from the world um yes it's the price of uh, technology and price of moving forward but if they're not getting taxed and they're not somehow compensating the people they're putting out if you have a company and you make somebody redundant you would be liable to make sure that you gave them redundancy pay but yet if you're an industry that displaces other people you don't so to hear you as a director say that really warms my heart man because you're, you're already thinking along the lines of how to share you've moved forward you've adapted now how do you split that up and make sure that the, the people who don't have the same capacity as you do how do they rise along with you this time how does that tide rise the same way i'm really i'm getting goosebumps here man that's really special i'm trying my best james i, can, I can't help everyone but i'm trying my best and that brings us to the end of the show ladies and gentlemen please thank our star guest Tito Sid Madrasso for sharing us all that beautiful, uh, very helpful information. Thank you. Inspiring us. Tito Thank Sid, so I much. hope you're back here soon in uh, in the jungle, the concrete jungle, and away from paradise. Till then, stay safe. Thank you again. God bless you, man, and your family. Thank you, Tito James. I'll see you soon, man. Bye-bye.